It's time now for your Sass Milk post-game playoff report here from the Northern Lights Palace. And boy, oh boy, early candidate for game of the playoffs in the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League. The Melford Mustangs come back from a 2-0 deficit to win 3-2 in overtime. Zach Summers scoring one minute, 14 seconds into OT to give the Mustangs a 3-2 win. And as a result, the series is tied 1-1 going back to LaRange for game two or game three rather, I should say, on Tuesday night. That's where the twos come in. <laughs> also, three other games on tap this evening. It was a dominant performance for the Humble Broncos at home. They held serve at the Elgar Peterson Arena, picked up a 7-1 win over the Nippowin Hawks, so they have a 2-0 series lead going back to the cage in Nippowin on Tuesday night. The Flin Flon Bombers, you can see the exact same thing. They earned a 5-2 win over the Estevan Bruins and of course the rematch of last year's final. Now the series will shift to affinity place on Tuesday with the Estevan Bruins looking to get back in the series and get a win. And finally, the battle for North Stars. They tied their best of seven series with the Weyburn Red Wings. A 5-2 win at home. Kian Bell, the RBC forward of the year, top player of the year, and of course SGU MVP of the year, led the way, three goals as the North Stars win 5-2. That series is tied 1-1, going back to Weyburn at the CPP Tuesday night. So four very entertaining games in the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League this evening. The playoffs will now take a few days off before the action resumes with four game threes Tuesday night, and you'll find us on Tuesday in Weyburn as the Red Wings play host the Balfour North Stars in Game 3.